Hello, 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 good friends, pals, brothers, sisters, lovers, uh, and good people in general. I am the professor with the double S, it's very important. Ingeniero, Ingeniero, and uh, I welcome you to my uh, new lesson in this course. It's about derivatives. Today we are going to uh, practice with a lot of exercises about logarithm derivatives. So, in the first case, I, I need to explain you the rule. The rule is very important that in this crazy world you just get into the uh, Google or whatever uh, search engine and you just type derivatives rules and in these derivative rules you will find this, uh, this uh, table with the rules and uh, with these rules you will be able to, so to solve most of the derivatives okay and you will see that these are, are very easy derivatives to solve so now I, I will explain the uh, natural logarithm derivatives and the uh, logarithm just in any base and I will explain what is the difference so the first thing you need to know is that if they give us any function for example well uh, before this I, I must tell you that this is a complete course and you must see the videos in order if you didn't see the uh, the first and the second video because this is the third one you must click here in the top left of the screen or whatever uh, and you should start watching all the videos in the right order okay it's very important because they i explain the real real basis this is not such a basic video because it's the third one here now we know uh, a lot of things so y equal x if they give us this function and we want just to calculate the sorry we just want to calculate the logarithm the lo, the sorry uh, the function is logarithm of uh, x so if we want to calculate the derivative we just need to apply this uh, rule here so if we have the logarithm of any function in this case is x the derivative if is a division as you can see here and in the uh, denominator you just need to put the function x like it's here you see f and in the numerator you must put the derivative of the function in this case the function is x so the derivative of x is 1 so the derivative of the function logarithm of x is 1 divided by x this is the most important thing you must know about a uh, logarithm deriva der derivatives so, for example, if, if they would give us this function, a logarithm of 5x, a, in this case, if we want to calculate the derivative, we need to know logarithm properties, okay? This, is, this video is not to explain the logarithm properties, I will explain that in other video, but it's very important to know them because I'm... Without these properties, you won't be able to solve any logarithm derivatives. So, in this case, uh, we need to write this function applying the logarithm properties like, like this. Logarithm of 5 plus logarithm of x. You are allowed to do that because the logarithm of a product it, it's equal to the to the uh, addition of the uh, logarithms of each factor of the product okay uh, so we just if we want to derivate this function we can derivate this so the derivative of logarithm of 5 is the, deri the derivative of a constant and the derivative of a constant as, as I explained in the first video is always zero and we need to add plus the logarithm of x and just the derivative of this function, as I explained here, is 1 divided by x. So the derivative of, of this function, logarithm of 5x, is 1 divided by x. Just like that. So easy. So easy, easy. And if they would give us this function, y equals 2, uh, let's make it a little more complicated x squared plus 
one. Don't worry because these are easy, but I will complete. Uh, I will make it a little more complicated, and we will learn a lot with this crazy video. So if they would give us this function, and we want and we wanted to calculate the derivative, we just need to apply this rule here. It's always applying rules. This is like the, the real life. Like when you are driving your Ferrari in the street or your Lamborghini, you just need to follow the rules because you cannot pass uh, some speed like 60 miles or whatever. So the derivative of this function would be fo following this rule. In the denominator, we just need to write the f. What is the f in this function? The f is x squared plus 1. We need to identify. You see log logarithm of f in this case, f if is everything inside the parentheses, x, x squared plus 1. So in the denominator, we must write f, in this case, x squared plus 1. And in the numerator, we must write the derivative of f, in this case, the derivative of x squared plus 1, as I explained in the last videos, the de derivative of x squared, the 2 goes down, multiplying is 2x, the power is 2 minus 1, so 2x and the power is 1, I don't need to write it, and I need to add the derivative of 1. In this case, the derivative of 1 is the derivative of a constant, is 0, so I don't write anything. So the derivative of this function is this one here, just like this, so easy, I repeat. Then, if they would give us, and now I'm going to write it a little faster, because this is too easy for you and I don't want to bother you. Um, logarithm of 2x power 3 plus 3x plus 1. So now we are going very fast. The derivative of this function is in the denominator we write the f. The f in this case is 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. And in the numerator the derivative of the function the of f. In this case, the 3 goes multiplying down, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6x, and the power is 3 minus 1 is 2, plus 3 is the derivative of 3x, because 3 is a constant, it goes out, and x, the derivative of x is 1, always. The deriv derivative of x is 1. So, the derivative of 3x is just 3, and the derivative of 1 is 0. So, this is the derivative of this function here. Then, if they would give us, for example, a division, the division of a logarithm, for example, this one here, sorry, and insulin, okay. If, if they would give us this function, logarithm of the division x squared plus 1 divided by x squared minus 5, we just need to apply the logarithm properties, which I, explain, which I will explain in other video. In this case, if we have a division, the, the logarithm of a division is the subtraction of the logarith logarithms of its factors. In this case, the logarithm of the first factor, x squared plus 1, minus the logarithm of the second factor, x squared plus minus 5. And now, if we want to calculate the derivative, we calculate it from we, cal we need to calculate it from here, that which is much easier. In this case, the function is this and the function is this here. So for the first one, we just need to write the function in the denominator is x squared plus 1. And in the numerator, we just write the, the derivative of the function is 2x. Just the, down, the 2 goes down here, multiplying x, and the power is 2 minus 1. So that's why I wrote 2x. Minus the derivative of this function here in the numerator, so in the denominator we put we write x squared minus 5 and in the denominator we write the derivative of this is 2x. So the derivative of this function would be just writing a common uh, denominator it would be x squared plus 1 multiplied by x squared minus 5. This is just the common denominator is the uh, product of these both denominators and in the numerator it would be 2x is common factor from both uh, from both factors and it would be x squared minus 5 minus x squared plus 1 okay this would be just the derivative of this 
functions here, okay? I'll just uh, mix everything to make it like a little um, good, more, good, more good looking. So let's do it a little more complicated. For example, if they would give us this function, y equals to logarithm of x squared minus x plus 5, and the power of everything is 3. So the derivative of this function is very easy. We just need to identify the function, which is the f. The f is this, x squared mi minus x plus 5, power 3. The power is also included in the function. So the derivative would be in the denominator, the function, right? Like it is. My x squared minus x plus 5, power 3. And in the numerator, the derivative of the function. So applying the rules that I explained in the first and the second videos, the 3 goes down, multiplying all the function, x squared minus x minus plus four, 5, and then we need to multiply by the derivative of what it is it's inside. In this case, the derivative of this inner function that would be 2x minus 1. As you can see, 2x minus 1, sorry, this is a little bit a uh, turn around, okay. As you can see, 2x minus 1 is the derivative of x squared minus x plus 5. Uh, this that I've done here is the what we call the chain rule that I will explain in the next video because the next video will be the video about uh, pr uh, properties and rules of derivatives. Okay, the last exercise I'm going to explain here if they give, gave me this function, for example, a logarithm, and you can see this is a logarithm in base 12, it could be in any base, um, but this is in base 12, like the months of the year, 12 months, has a year, 3x power 3. So we just need to apply here this formula, this formula here, this is the general formula is for any base, for, for example, logarithm in base a, in this case is 12, but it could be any base. As you can see, the formula for the natural, natural logarithm is just a particular case from the uh, general logarithm, because the natural logarithm base is the e base. So in, in this case, this formula, the a is an e. So this would be the logarithm in base e, and the logarithm in base e of the number e is 1. So if this factor here is 1, we go to this formula here. But the general case is this one, the, the, the case uh, below. So just we need to apply this, this rule in this case. It would be the derivative of this function would be in the denominator the function 3x power 3. In the numerator the derivative of the function of f f is this, so the derivative, the 3 goes down, multiplying to the other 3, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, and then the power of the x is 3 minus 1 is 2. And then we need to multiply, as you can see in the formula, by the logarithm on base a. Sorry for this. Okay. I need to get to achieve better, uh, better material for the class. Logarithm, multiplying here, logarithm in base e, in base a, sorry, in this case the a is base 12, of the number e. And this would be the answer, this would be the derivative of this function here. You must uh, know that the logarithm in base 12 of e is just a number. This is a number, and then, for example, the 9 and the 3, you can make here the division. Uh, 9 and 3, you will, uh, it will be a 3 just in the denominator, and then the x squared with the x power 3, you would write here 3 divided by x, logarithm in base 12 of the number e. This would be the derivative of this function here. Okay, pals, I hope you liked this video, this video you enjoyed it, and the most important thing that you, you learned a lot of derivatives. Uh, we will meet in the next video, it will be about the properties and uh, very important things about derivatives. Goodbye, uh, share the love please and see you later.